Hello, Hidden Well farmers. Out here, uh, story time from Hidden Well. Got the whole background, the frogs and all the crickets and stuffs are chirping tonight. Things are rearing up for spring. I mean, things are blooming out like crazy. But I thought I'd tell you a story about um, a farm call that I made. Uh, again, this was close to 25 years ago. I hadn't been out of veterinary school for very long, but uh, a guy had a horse. He called me out and asked me if I would make a farm call. I did and got to the farm. The horse had cut the back of its foot. Where the hoof comes up, he'd cut the back of it right above the frog and just peeled it down. That skin was laying like this and hanging on to the, the frog. It'd been an old cut and it, you know, it was healing, but that tissue, that extra skin hanging on down there was really delaying and healing, causing the horse problems because he'd get hung on everything. So the owner of the horse asked me to cut it off. He wanted me to remove it. I thought that was a good idea. I really did. I thought that was a good idea. And it probably is a good idea. I don't know. You horse veterinarians out there might have a better idea. I don't know how to treat that, but I thought it was a good idea to cut it off. And so <clears throat> I got my lidocaine, my handy dandy lidocaine ready. Got me a beautiful 20 gauge needle so that I can inject it. But I failed to do three things. Number one, I didn't twitch the horse. Number two, I didn't tie the horse. And number three, I didn't sedate the horse. I just thought I'd just stick that needle in there and I would numb it. And then I'd cut it off. Ten minutes tops. Well, as I got into the stall with this very calm, very gentle horse, in the stall, mind you, in the middle of nowhere. I stuck that needle in, and as if lightning had struck the ground, that horse kicked so fast, I didn't even see it come off of the ground. I did not see it hit the barn wall. But the bam and the explosion that happened when that horse kicked was enough to make you deaf for a week. Of course, I was startled because this horse just kicked the barn and I didn't see it coming. It scared me and startled me, but like it's, everything went into slow motion. The whole world just slowed down, just crazy. I mean, just crazy slow down. The horse was the perfect distance, had the perfect speed of foot, and he kicked the side of that barn so hard that the entire side of that barn fell down. Well, the end of it was attached to some beams on this end of the barn. You know, it wasn't real good attached in here, but it was attached in here, nails and some other boards and stuff. And it took those beams with it as the weight began to pull on it. And so the whole section of barn over here collapsed in which then caused the door to that room to fall this way. And when it fell that way, it hit the wall on the other side of the lane of the barn that was carrying all the tack and the saddles and all that kind of stuff. Of course, it fell in, and then that roof come down. Luckily, I was still standing there in the barn, not having debris completely crushing me. But that old man, I'll never forget, he walked right up to me and says, Yeah, I think you're done now. That's story time from Hidden Well. And I did leave. I went home. <laughs>